This mantis is at the top of her game. All summer, she's been bulking up on grasshoppers and flies. They're called bordered mantises, ambush hunters, cloaked by camouflage, some green and some brown. And check out those forelimbs. They're lined with sharp spikes, almost like a couple extra sets of jaws to grab her prey. They've served her well. But summer is coming to an end here in California's Owens Valley. The one thing left for them to do is start the next generation. She sends out a chemical signal, an alluring cocktail of pheromones into the air. This guy picks up the message. He's way, way smaller than she is. Simply outclassed when it comes to strength and deadliness. He makes his move to pass on his genes for... Uh, that's one way to go. And he's not the only male to meet his end this way. So why would praying mantises do this? Eat their own kind at a rather intimate moment? Seems like they wouldn't last long as a species. Well, it takes a ton of energy for females to produce their eggs, about a hundred of them developing inside her. She'll lay them in a foamy cluster like this called an ootheca. So that male is fueling the survival of his species, nutritionally speaking. When they hatch in the spring, there'll be plenty more mantises to replace this one. And these bordered mantises weren't gonna live much longer anyway. They can't survive the cold autumn nights. So males might as well take a shot. Aw, this time it worked out. He delivers a packet of sperm to fertilize her eggs. 